Hello everyone. Today's challenge question is word pattern. So the question says that we are given a pattern and a string and we have to find if the string follows the same pattern. If you look at example number one, we are given the input pattern which is A, B, B, A and the string which is dog, cat, cat, dog and the output is true. So for this example, A is equal to dog and B is equal to cat. And a string should follow the same pattern as given in this string. Now since the pattern is A, B, B, A, a string should be dog, cat, cat, dog. So that's why our output is true. In example number two, the pattern is A, B, B, A. And this time, the string is dog, cat, cat, fish. Now A equals to dog and B equals to cat. So the string should have been dog, cat, cat, dog. But the last word is fish, so the output is false. In example number 3, the pattern is A, 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 A. And if A is equal to dog, then the string should have been dog, 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 dog. But that is not the case, so the output is false. So that was the question. Now we'll see the explanation and then we will see the code. Let's take the example from the question. So we have this pattern and the string. And the first thing that we need to make sure is the length of pattern must be equal to length of string as every character in pattern maps to a single word in string. Next, the question says that in the string, every word is separated by a space. So we are going to use string.split which will split these words on the basis of space and return a list like this. So we have our pattern A, B, B, A and now we have our list with every word separated by a comma. Since every character in the pattern corresponds to a words in the string, we can use a map for our question such that the character is the key and the word is the value. So A corresponds to dog and B corresponds to cat. And this is our map. So this map will work well for examples like this. But what if we had an example like this, the pattern as A, B, B, A and the string as dog, dog, dog and dog. So in this case, the map would be A corresponds to dog and B also corresponds to dog and the output will be true. But this is incorrect. The output should be false. So to solve this issue, instead of having one map, we are going to have two maps. One for each character corresponding to a word and one for each word corresponding to a character. So the second map would be like dog corresponds to A and cat corresponds to B. And in this way, if the character is not in the character to word mapping, we can additionally check whether the word is also in the word to character mapping. So while scanning each character word pair, if the character is not in the character to word mapping, we can additionally check whether the word is also in the word to character mapping. And for this example, it would look something like this. So this is the character to word mapping and we need to create another word to character mapping. So the word to character mapping would look something like this. Dog corresponds to A. And this is our word to character mapping. So in this example, A corresponds to dog but also B corresponds to dog. So first we check this and the second thing that we need to check is that this word corresponds to a single character which is A. But in the character to word map, we have this B which corresponds to dog. So in this case, we will return false, which is the output. So let's see what we have so far. First, we need to check the edge cases. The length of pattern must be equal to the length of words. Second, we need to create two maps, one character to word map and one word to character map. Third, we have to scan the patterns and the words using zip. What zip does is, it will club together the character to the words and will return a tuple. So in our example, it will create a tuple something like this. The first one is a dog, the second is b cat, the third is b cat and the fourth is a dog. Using zip, we can easily loop over the patterns and the words. And at last, we need to make sure 
that the words in the character to word map is equal to the word if that is the case that we will return true and if not then at last we will return false so that's it for the explanation now we will see the code in the meanwhile please give this video a thumbs up this really motivates us to make more videos and helps us to grow now let's see the code so in line number 4 we are splitting the word using the string dot split function which will look something like this next on line number 7 i'm checking the case that the length of word should be equal to the length of pattern and if it's not equal then i will return false on line number 10 and 11 i'm creating my maps character to word and word to character which are currently an empty dictionary on line number 13 i'm using a for loop for the characters and words in the patterns and words list so in the first loop my character is a and my word is dog and on line number 14 i'm checking if a is present in the character to word dictionary or not it is not present so i come to line number 17 and i'm checking if my word dog is present in the word to character dictionary or not it is again not present so i come to line number 22 and i add my character in the character to word dictionary and i add my word to the word to character dictionary so my dictionaries now look something like this a corresponds to dog and dog corresponds to a next on the second loop my character is equal to b and my word is equal to cat again i will check if b is present in the character to word dictionary or not it is not present so i come to line number 17 and check whether cat is present in the word to character dictionary or not again it is not present so i come to line number 22 and i add both the characters and the words into the dictionary so now the dictionary looks something like this a corresponds to dog and b corresponds to cat same for the word to character dictionary dog corresponds to a and cat corresponds to b so in the third loop my character is again a i check whether a is present in the character to word dictionary or not so it is present so in that case i will come to line number 27 and i will check the condition whether the value at that character is equal to the word or not so our value at a was dog and our word is also dog and in this case both of these are equal so i move forward in my loop and the fourth character is b again b is present in the character to word dictionary so i come to line number 27 and i check whether the value of that character which is cat is not equal to our word or not again both of the words are equal and my search is also complete so in the end i will return true so that's it for the code i will now submit it and my code was accepted thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe thank you